Hello, Raleigh. This is citizen reporter Robert Kortz coming to you from the Your Backyard Raleigh News Network. And today I have a special guest with me, someone that I think is doing some great work right here in the Wake County, Orange County area. So please uh, let me introduce you to longtime anti-war activist, Rania Masri. Thank, Thank you, you for so me today. Thank you so much, Robert, for giving me the space. Well, it's my pleasure to lift the voices of all the citizens of Raleigh. And you're coming with a very special message for us today. Can you tell us a little bit about who you are and what you're all about? Well, I've been campaigning against war, against the, the mass slaughter of innocent lives since the early 1990s. And it is because of that work and because I fundamentally believe that killing innocents is wrong and therefore that genocide is wrong. Genocide, which is the deliberate, intentional extermination of an entire people is most definitely wrong and becomes the greatest evil one could possibly do. Consequently, when I look at, at who's running for president and I see that we have choices, we do have choices. And now we have coming to the triangle the most important of those choices, which is Dr. Jill Stein and Professor Butch Ware representing the Green Party, representing the most viable anti-genocide candidates that we have running. So you know, consequently, it's natural that I'd be supporting that campaign and be asking all of us who oppose genocide to also support that campaign. Well, you think that uh, being anti-genocide would be a natural state of people, but a lot of times in the confusion and the and the rhetoric and the way that the American political system often just creates these silos of thoughts and interest, yeah. it's not as obvious and it's not as transparent as it should be. So will you tell us a little bit more about Dr. Stein and Professor Ware? Yes, thank you. Um, you you're completely right. It is not becoming natural to simply say that we're opposing genocide. And what, when I say genocide, thus far in the past one year, we have had more than 300,000 Palestinians in Gaza killed um, with US weapons. And for folks to understand, Gaza is the size of the city of Raleigh you know, with a population of three and a half million. So yeah. it, it, is, it is truly horrendous. And we have had Vice President Kamala Harris say time and time again that she fully supports this policy of arming Israel to the teeth and sending billions and billions and billions of US taxpayer dollar to, to Israel and, and supporting Israel in committing their war crimes against Palestinians. And also we have her on the record, her and, and her vice presidential candidate saying that they also support the Israeli invasion of Lebanon that, that is ongoing. So amidst that, we have a candidate, Dr. Jill Stein, who is a medical doctor who has worked valiantly for environmental justice and whose appeal is very strong that she rejects genocide and she rejects war crimes and she rejects the promotion of war and she supports people over profits and she supports the planet over corporate profits. And she and her vice presidential candidate, Professor Butch Ware, are coming to the triangle. So everyone will have a chance to get to meet them, to have conversations with them, to engage with them. And this is particularly important because North Carolina, as everyone knows, is a swing state. And the number of people that voted no preference in the Democratic primary that said no back when Joe Biden was the nominee, that number, 88,000, is larger than the number, than the difference in the votes that former President Trump won the state four years ago. So we are a significant size in North Carolina that are openly saying now no to Kamala Harris and, of course, no to Donald Trump. And so we encourage everyone who is interested in understanding why the vote for peace is a vote for Jill and for Butch to please come out to our events in the Triangle. Well, uh, I, I am excited that there is a third party candidate. I have often said that uh, the, one of the biggest problems is that it's either yes or no. There's no third choice. So often, and we've had many of my guests say that they're conflicted being part of a party because of this very reason, that there's so much hate and war and killing going on, and, and we don't have a choice. So uh, you say Professor Ware is coming this week, I believe. Yes, Professor Butch Ware is coming on Tuesday, October 15th. 
He will be speaking at UNC at one o'clock, and then um, he will be having a dinner with, with all of us at 6 p.m. in Raleigh. And I encourage everyone to register. These events all need registration. And you can register if you just go to the link tree, which is link tree slash NC, NCGP. So it stands for North Carolina Green Party. Just, just go to the link tree dash North Carolina Green Party NCGP to register for any one of those events. 1 p.m. at UNC Chapel Hill on Tuesday or 6 p.m. for dinner at the Nexus Center in Raleigh. And then Dr. Jill Stein's also visiting our state, I believe. Yes, Dr. Jill Stein is coming next Monday. She will be here October 21st, and she will be here for lunch. It'll be en route as she goes and continues her campaign trail. And again, to register for that luncheon, please also go to the Linktree event, the Linktree you know, website. Um, and uh, the people that attend, uh, aside from this personal message, uh, is there any act or any ask that you have as a Green Party activist for the people that may attend this event? Well, my, my, my biggest ask is let us please vote for what we want rather than voting out of fear. When, when I'm called by the Democrats, their reasons for wanting us to, to vote for Kamala Harris is out of fear of Donald Trump. And I reject that voting out of fear. I reject the binary of vote for the lesser evil. We need to make sure that we vote for who we want to win and vote for the values that represent us. And most definitely, most definitely hold those who are funding the genocide accountable by not voting for them and rather voting for the alternative, which is Jill Stein and Butch Ware. Well, I thank you for sharing some time with me today. Any last message before we sign off? Just keep in touch, hold the faith, and continue to work and organize for peace and against war. Well, Raleigh, let me just say that there is a third option. If you haven't checked them out, if you don't know what they're about, take a few minutes to do your research, show up to one of these events, hear what they have to say. Because all this and more is in your backyard. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, Robert.